Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it, it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever shall be, be, world without end. Amen. <laughs> To thee we come, O Lord, our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we will go unto the altar of God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. And now please make an examination of conscience. And now let us recite together the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and the remission of our sins. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is my covenant with you and your descendants after you that you must keep. Every male among you shall be circumcised. I will not follow. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, 
we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, your blessed Son was circumcised in observance of your ancient law, so that we might enter into glorious freedom of the children of God. Cleanse our hearts by an inward circumcision from all incentives to sin, that we may worship you in spirit and in truth. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. John, would you proclaim the word? Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said to Abraham, for your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. This is the covenant between me and you and your descendants after you that you must keep. Every male among you shall be circumcised. Circumcise the flesh of the foreskin. That will be the sign of the covenant between me and you. Throughout the ages, every male among you, when he is eight days old, shall be circumcised, including those born slaves and those acquired with money from any foreigner who is not of your descendants. Yes, both the house-born slaves and those acquired with money must be circumcised. Thus, my covenant will be in your flesh as an everlasting covenant. If a male is uncircumcised, that is, if the flesh of his foreskin has not been cut away, such a one will be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. The word of the Lord. Amen. The gradual. Therefore, since Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same attitude. For whoever suffers in the flesh has broken with sin so as not to spend what remains of one's life in the flesh on human desires, but on the will of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, once again I declare to every man who has himself circumcised, who, who has himself circumcised that he is bound to observe the entire law. You are separated from Christ, you who are trying to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we await the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything, but only faith working through love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. For we are the circumcision, we who worship through the Spirit of God, who boast in Christ Jesus, and do not put our confidence in flesh. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips, through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, first of all, Happy New Year. A new year. A new year of hope. A new year of promises. And a new year being recommitted unto God. Today in the Polish National Catholic Church, we celebrate the solemnity of the circumcision. Whereas in the Roman Catholic Church, they celebrate Mary, the Mother of God. But we take on this day a story that was told as we find in the Gospel of Luke. After eight days from the date of his birth, in keeping to the law, Jesus was circumcised. Now we find the whole concept of circumcision in the Old Testament. It was an agreement, a covenant, between God and Abraham. Circumcision was to be a sign of fidelity and a sign of commitment. Circumcision. Do you know there are many countries that banned the act of circumcision? It is considered to be not only painful, but unnecessary. So why circumcision? Should be understood that it was the male who actually gave of his seed to bring forth future generations. And so God created this decree as a sign of an agreement between God and the future generations from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob and so on and so forth to this day. You know, we find in the New Testament one of the things that battled between St. Paul and St. Peter was circumcision. Every Jew, according to the Mosaic Law, needed to be circumcised eight days after the birth. But how was the Christian church to grow? Was it just to be among the Jews? We call St. Peter the Apostle to the Jews. 
Whereas St. Paul, we called him the apostle to the Gentiles. And so there was a separation and there was actually a battle and words were exchanged of who would be brought into this religion. This new religion. The religion of the Nazarene. The religion of Jesus Christ. Jesus, in his circumcision, was also presented to the Lord for the first time. And we read that Mary and Joseph were righteous people who fulfilled all the laws. But yet, on this new year, we not only remember that day in which Jesus was circumcised, but again he was presented in the temple. In today's bulletin, there is the story about Simeon and Anna, those who were present in the temple when Jesus was brought for the first time with Mary his mother and Joseph. You know, in this new year, we are all presented unto the Lord. Again, a new year of promises, a new year of hope, and a new year for not only health and happiness and prosperity to all, but also to our congregation. And so there was a, divi- a division that took place between Peter and Paul of the covenant that would exist in future generations. It was a covenant not of the flesh, but it was the covenant of the Spirit. And so therefore, the Gentiles and all those who were not a part of the law of Moses would be brought into an agreement, a covenant with God. It is the circumcision of the heart. And you know, just as God required a piece of flesh as an agreement between Himself and mankind, our Lord calls upon us in this new year to give Him a piece, not a flesh, as in the case of the foreskin, but rather to give Him a piece of our hearts as a sign of our fidelity, as a sign of our commitment. We are baptized into the body of Christ. It was said in the 14th century that Jesus at His circumcision It was the first time in which he shed his blood. It was to be a sign for all that it was the beginning of the redemption, the reconciliation, and the salvation of mankind, which culminated on that first Good Friday upon the cross where he shed his blood and gave of his body for the sins of man and for the salvation of all. And so on this New Year's Day, let us pray before the Father in our agreement with him, with our covenant with him, that we will strive in this new year to come closer to Him, and for Him to come closer to us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen.
I be he leaving while on God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Please be seated. One is not a Jew outwardly. True circumcision is not outward in the flesh. Rather, one is a Jew inwardly, and circumcision is of the heart, in the spirit, not the letter. sisters that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted in this new year by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands to the praise of the Lord and the Amen. Let us pray. Accept, Lord, our prayers and our gifts. Hear us in your mercy and by these mysteries cleanse us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
the Lord be with his you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. In fulfillment of the ancient covenant of Abraham, eight days after his birth, Jesus was circumcised, and thereby is a true son of Abraham and son of David. In Christ, this covenant changed from a circumcision of the flesh to one of the Spirit. We are now a people circumcised in heart and spirit, worshiping through the very Spirit of God in the unity of Christ, who is all in all. And so, therefore, on this solemnity, we join with the voices of the archangels and angels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the Apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord, my brothers and sisters, in our prayers. Let us remember the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry and the homeless. Let us pray for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus, and especially the children who are suffering from the RSV. May we give God our thanks for the blessings of doctors, nurses, first responders, and all health care workers. In our deepest prayers this day, let us remember and pray for all abused and neglected children in our world, all abused and neglected animals, all victims of violence both here and abroad. May we pray this day for peace, and remember the people of Ukraine and others around the world who strive to live in freedom. On this day, may we also remember all those who serve in our armed forces, both here and abroad, and pray that the angels of God would watch over them and return them safely to their homes. And let us this day Pray for all here present, O Lord, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. 
May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and who with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, 
All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, uh, and following the mind in example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give unto you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and vouchsafe to grant it peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching, and never let us be parted from you who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not because for our judgment or condemnation, though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will, and may it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant this, who lives and reigns with God the Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen.
what shall they return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon the Lord, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord,
Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. With your watchful tenderness, Lord, guard the hearts which have been made holy by these sacred mysteries and awaken them to a greater love for you, our first beginning and our final goal. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effected for myself and for all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found the life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe but only to testify to the light for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world and through him the world was made yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name who were begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God, the Word. Became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the repose of the souls of all our faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.